at hand as they came into the arena earlier on. Welcome everyone, a bit more excitement in the air tonight as this matchup is the first game of the in-season tournament. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. We've got Daniels. Fox is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Koulibaly at the shooting guard position. Kind of the best to move to the inside. Well, here we are, Greg, in game one of the end season tournament. Both teams eager to not only pick up a regular season win, but also take their first win in four games in the initial group round. And it's going to be interesting to see how the tournament evolves, right? Now, I'll be curious how that extra edge of intensity may be involved in tonight's game. So the Memphis Grizzlies able to put the first points up on the board. Pass to Simon. A three-pointer, no good. And it's Fox with the ball for Memphis. We play just over a minute on the first. And it's Fox with the jam. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Simons with the ball. His last outing, 16 points for him. And again, it's the Trail Blazers missing. For Memphis, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's Daniels. He's covered by Murray. And Kaminga gets it to go. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. The Grizzlies have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Murray. Hey, who's got tomorrow? Knocked away. Graham against Fox. Graham with the rebound. I think at the last second he decided to get slick. I don't think he'll make that mistake again. Now the pass to Simon. To the paint to end the run. And that one is hammered home. Finally. After all those plays, someone comes through for them. <laughs> yeah, the lid's now off, guys. Maybe they can roll off a few more in a quick order. Here is Daniels. Can't cash in from close range. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Pulls it up. O'Connor with the bucket. And that's how you execute offensively. Murray with a great job of getting it to his teammate. HEA, you went to back-to-back -back conference finals with Portland. What's it like playing here? I mean, this building is as loud as any in the NBA. The fans are tremendous, very loyal. I really enjoyed my time here in Rip City. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Now, here's Simon. Defense right on him. Daniels with it. Unguarded by Murray. Bobbed up there for Fox. First on the alley slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Simon's on the wing. 
In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Now Daniels, pass to Kaminga. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got three assists in the game. Trailblazers trail by ten. This is it to Simon. Back to Murray. Will it go? And Simons is good for three. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Daniels with it. He's covered by Murray. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Hey, Greg, gritty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy ship on their shoulders. They love to compete. And still so much, Greg, to learn about these teams. When do we get a sense of a team's true identity? Well, not this early in the season. I'd say at least a quarter of the way through it. That's when you kind of get a sense of a squad's chemistry. Oh, here's Murray. Scoreless thus far. A kick out to Simon. Again, Simon's missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Here's Daniels. The Grizzlies with another miss. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. Simons surveying the D. And he banks in the lane. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Memphis leading by seven. And here's Daniels. Down low. Daniels gets a screen from Fox. Pass to Kulabari. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got four assists now tonight. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Now here's Murray. Last game out, he had 14. Inside. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Here's Daniels. He's covered by Murray. The pass to Fox. Memphis moving that ball around. Shot clock at six. Daniel from outside. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. Get through, get through, get through. Pass to Graham. Simons up top. Shoots from 12. Almost, but it rolls out. And another miss. Ooh, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Count that bucket. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. They came out and bum-rushed them. Huge difference in activity level from both teams tonight. And the first time out of the game called here for the Trailblazers. Here on the 2K leaderboard of the rebounding leaders from a season ago. You take a look at Fox. No doubt one of the most efficient rebounders in the game. And you know, he took a lot of pride in being at the top of that rebounding list. When all was said and done, he was a man among boys. Passes it to Gibbs. Get the perimeter. Murray outside. Oh. It's stolen. Here's Daniels. He's covered by Murray. The nine-foot shot. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. 
And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And on top of that, they've been asserting themselves offensively, getting a good chunk of their points from inside. And he can't hit the second. And so Graham will bring it up for Portland. They trail by 14. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. Portland's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. The dish to Murray. And they double up Murray. Simons from outside. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got four assists now tonight. And the Grizzlies leading by 11. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Okashevsky's checked in for Portland. Walker comes in for Murray. And checking out the numbers for Morant. Great showing for him last season. He put up about 27 points a game, 16 assists, and four rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. I've played with someone like him, the type of player that looks to get others involved first. That's my type of teammate. It's truly hard to exaggerate just how explosive John Moran is on the floor. No, because there is no exaggeration, Greg. It's just whatever you say, you see. It is impressive, and he is elite. Just three to shoot. Here's Pakuszewski trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. To the middle. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Morant. And here's some numbers on Fox. Coming off a terrific season. And lest we forget the most prolific shot blocker in the game. Number one in blocks per last season. And his unmatchable instincts are scoring the basketball. That's what made him number one last year. You can't stop him. And you can't even really contain him. Whitehead's check in for Dyson Daniels. And already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Portland with the ball. It's a 16-point game. Walker against Morant. They set the screen. Pokushevsky finds Simon. Just five on the clock. Walker the pass to Gibbs. No good from outside. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. The freeze from Morant. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Tough move by Morant. Taking the shot and absorbing the foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Good on the second free throw. And they've clearly been the aggressors here early on. Drawing fouls and working themselves to the line. And here are the Trailblazers now. Trailing by 19. Outside, Walker. Down low. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. The shot's good. Eight points for him. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Now, here's McDaniel. Defense is right there. Pass to Kaminga from past the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Kaminga's got 11. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. We'll see if they can keep this pace. Not sure they can win it by relying on just the three. Kuzevsky can't hit. And the Grizzlies leading by 20. Inside. Back to Fox. He dishes it to Morant. Five to shoot. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Tyson Daniels checked in for Kaminga.
And for the Trailblazers, they're shooting looking a little out of sorts early, 37%. O'Connor the pass to Gibbs. Here's O'Connor. And the pass to Aguilar. Portland again, missing. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. And with the jam. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 13 rebounds. Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Walker goes back up. Akusevsky can't hit. And the Grizzlies leading by 22. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Morant passes to Whitehead. Fox kicks to Daniels. Here's Whitehead. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got his sixth assist on the night. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And guys, to go on a big run and get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. Walker with some nice deep. Jonathan Kaminga has been on display for the Grizzlies. We witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And uh, the Grizzlies have been rolling right along, haven't they? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court, so you have to run every time you get the opportunity. So the Grizzlies five right now. Fox is out there with McDaniels. Then there's John Morant. Then it's Daniels. And it's Whitehead in at the small forward. Now here's Walker. We saw him with 10 points last game. Pass to O'Connor. Here's Pakusevsky. Guarded by Fox. Pakusevsky with the bucket. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, Jay in that last matchup against Detroit had a huge game. He ended up with 62 points, and he dominated the glass all night, ripping down 20 boards. He really worked hard in that game and put up some big numbers as a result. Guys, back to you. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Walker the pass to Murray. Walker with a screen for Murray. Poked away. Here's Fox. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. What a pass for Moran. He does a terrific job staying alert, seeking out the right opportunities to get his teammates involved. Murray against Morant to the inside. Green and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. The free throw off from Graham. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Well, Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And 
you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Portland's gone 104 from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Passes it to Murray. And it's good. Two points. And you can't fall asleep against Murray, especially when he's got great interior positioning. The D has got to be better. Now, here's Morant for three. Here's Fox in the corner. Daniels. Outside Griffin. Beyond the arc. And there's Daniels. That's good on the assist by Griffin. Daniels has got 12 points in the game. Fox with a steal. He kicks to Morant. And finished off by Morant. Okay, I see you, Ja, flexing a little bit of muscle, showing off that athletic ability. Okay. Trailblazers have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Pass to O'Connor. Clock at four. Murray for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Murray's got five points in the quarter. And the backbone of Murray's game is that ability to scorch you from distance. Fox a screen on Murray. And finished off by Morant. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like to pick the set up the open shot, but when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better, he'll take it. And there's the pass to Pakusevsky. Going inside, good, and the assist goes to Murray. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Here is Daniels, guarded by Walker. Daniels gets a screen from Fox. Three-pointer. Second chance shot, Morant left side. Fox with a screen for Morant. Another shot. Morant with another miss. Now I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. The kick out to Walker. Graham, the pass to Murray. Here's O'Connor, defended by Griffin. Walker's shot is off. The Grizzlies have gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. And that one's good, Griffin. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And Murray's got the ball here for the Trailblazers. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Memphis this season. And in this matchup, last season, not one of the games went their way. Morant against Murray. Fox a screen on Murray. And he gets it to go. Morant's got 14 points for the game. And he's made his mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their spot. Griffin on the double team. Back to Walker. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. Right now, let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see the teams that really knew how to clog the passing lanes last season. The Trailblazers third. You could tell by watching them how much they enjoyed playing defense. They seem to have an endless reserve of energy flying around and, and pressuring the basketball. Morant against Graham. Out to Morant. Pass to Koulibaly. The tray. And it's Morant missing. Portland's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two or six from long range. Now here's Graham. And Simons wide open. He'll fight. And he's good on the three ball. Nine points in the game so far. Memphis leading by 23. Morant surveying the D. Pass to Koulibaly. Kaminga with a wide open look. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. 
And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Murray against Morant. Pass to Hines. There's the triple. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his fifth assist in this one. Portland's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Back to Murray. And it's denied by Fox. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. Now let's take a look now at Jonathan Kaminga's numbers. Some last season stats for him. Last season, put up about 12 points per game. Three rebounds and two assists. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. I think if you talk to anyone on this team, they believe in his abilities about a thousand percent. And he's good on the second. And for Portland, they're shooting about 42% so far. O'Connor the best to Murray. To the paint. Oh, down after the assist, let him into the lane. And the precise passing of Murray, really moving the ball well around the floor. Inside, here's Koulibaly. And that's how you lead a team, literally. The Trailblazers shooting in the second quarter has been superb. 58% from the field. Graham, a screen on Morant. And Murray, here we go. And it's denied by Fox. And now the fast break. Fox with the ball. Oh, and my be legal. Never <laughs> seen it. Oh. And how's that for a, a, a one-man show? Put this fellow on Broadway. <laughs> the most magnificent alley-oop we could have seen. 146 left in the first half of basketball. Here's O'Connor, defended by Kaminga. Here's Simons, and he hits the jump shot. Simons has got 11 points. Memphis in total control. Morant's off a pick from Fox. Right here. Morant dishes to Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Passes to Simons. It's stolen by Kaminga. And it's Memphis on the break. Morant with the bucket. Morant's got 10 points in the quarter. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Graham a screen on Morant. The pass to Simons. Portland moving the ball around. From outside, off the mark. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And stolen by Murray. Here's O'Connor. Defended by Kaminga. Kicks it to Murray. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. And this system thrives on Murray's aggression. When he attacks, you can just feel the energy. And when he lays back, the offense becomes stagnant. 27 seconds left now here on the second. Morant outside. Fox a screen on Murray. Morant with a wide open look. That one does not go. It puts him at five for nine from the field. Simons kicks to Murray. Puts up a three. He's off on that one. And so it's Memphis with a massive lead of 30 points here at the end of the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
The second unit is doing some serious damage. So many points coming from their bench. Huge advantage tonight. Hmm, calling up the reserve. I'm telling you, the others have played like stars. And now we turn our attention to the Western Conference standings here in the early going. Taking a look at... And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Here's O'Connor. Jamal Murray is out there with Anthony Simons. And it's Graham in at the four-man position. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And it's denied by Fox. Over to the wing. Down low and stolen by Graham. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Simons grew up under the tutelage of his father, whose workout regimen sometimes left his son in tears. Anthony said, I didn't get real joy from working out until middle school. By high school, it was just a normal day. It was so ingrained into me, working out extra and getting up as many shots as possible. Kevin? Well, it brought him here, David. Thank you so much for the story. And so he makes both from the line. Here is Daniels. Seven-foot shot. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And for Portland, they're shooting 40% from the field. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Simons kicks to Murray. Back to Simons. Six to shoot. Murray for three. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Daniels with it. All guarded by Murray. Daniels with it. He's got 12. Daniels gets a screen from Fox. But three. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Trailblazers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And a season ago, only converting at about a 72% clip from the line. So he gets them both. The Grizzlies shooting 69%, showing you what a well-oiled offense looks like tonight. Fox a screen on Murray. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Pass to Simons. Back to Murray. Now Simons. Pass to Graham. And here is Murray. Shot clock at five. Watch outside. Three pointer. And it's Graham missing. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Fox uses the glass to finish the layup. And that's now 22 points for Jay. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Drives to the hoop. Back to Daniels. Takes a three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. 
Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Ball's not loose. And now Daniels pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Rips down the breakaway slam. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Back to Murray. Out to the wing. Passes it to Simon. Six on the shot clock. Graham inside the line. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Here's Koulibaly. Out of bounds, Portland takes possession. And here's the upcoming schedule no for problem. the Trailblazers. On Saturday, it'll be the Detroit Pistons coming into town. And then on Monday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. And that's game two of this string of four games played at home. Daniels passes to Fox. And Fox with a jam. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him to come through for him. Get the perimeter. Graham sets a screen for Murray. Shot to stop the run. And it's denied by Fox. And it's Memphis on the break. And Koulibaly gets it to go. Koulibaly's got his third basket of the night right there. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Memphis. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. Another thing they're doing well tonight is getting steals, and that can be attributed to their tenacious style defensively. Murray for three, and they'll get another chance. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Ja Morant, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. by the Trailblazers. Here's O'Connor. Diamonds on the wing. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The pass to Graham. Here's O'Connor. Simons has the open look. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Fox, no good. Portland's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Dishes it to Graham. Pass to Simons. Lock at six. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Tries again. Again with the block. Making his presence felt on this end. He's holding down the fort. Anchoring the defense. And Memphis making a change here. Just five to shoot. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Yeah, I guess we could give him credit for not getting discouraged. He's still playing hard. He's doing his job out there. Pass to McDaniels. Morant against Murray. Offensive rebound. Let's it go with a three. Hits the three-point bomb. Whitehead's got his second basket of the night. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. 
in the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Griffin against Simon. And that one's good, Griffin. The dime courtesy of Morant. I'd love to play with John. He's always looking to move that ball. Murray looking around. The dish now to Graham. Passes it to Simon. And the three off target. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think he's just can't seem to find his confidence. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And start with their defense. They've been intense on that end, and they can actually help their offense as well. Graham finds Murray. Here's Gibbs, defended by Griffin. Here's Murray. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. And stolen by Murray. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Murray's got nine. And this speaks to Murray's determination, even with intense defense on him inside. He gets it done. There's the pass to McDaniels. Morant outside. There's the three. A nice shot by McDaniel. McDaniel's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. That one drops for him. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Moran's off a pick from Fox. Here's Whitehead. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. With this stoppage in play, we have a chance now to show you which teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Number one, the Grizzlies. You know, they went through stretches when they just didn't miss from beyond the arc. I mean, that carried them right to the top of that list. And Portland making a change here. Okashevsky's checked in. And Simons has got the ball here for the Trailblazers. Graham with the ball. Working on McDaniels. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Grizzlies will take it. Looking now at some numbers for Jamal Murray. Last season's performance for him averaged about 15 points a game. Three assists and two rebounds. And you, you like what he brings backing up the point guard. They feel confident with him at the helm. He's effective at running the offense, and having someone like that off the bench is an absolute luxury. Portland no good that time either. Memphis has gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. Here's Gibbs. He has yet to score. Now Simons. Just four to shoot. No good. Shot missing. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking two shots just won't do it. And it's Fox with the jam. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. And are the Trailblazers shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Griffin with the steal. Oh, here we go with uh, Griffin. Nobody back there. Here's Fox. And it's Fox slamming it down. Oh, here he comes, and there he goes. Oh, look at him punish that rim. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Moran finds McDaniel. Hey, yo, right here, left. Now here's Moran. Jacks up a three. 
Rebound by the Trailblazers. 102 left to play here in the third. Gibbs. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Morant against Walker. Morant passes to McDaniels. Morant against Walker. Five on the clock. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Pass to Whitehead. He dishes it to Griffin. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Fox with a screen for Morant. And Morant throws it down. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. And here is Simon. He's got 13. Pass to Gibbs. To the middle. And here's Walker outside. Drains it from beyond the arc. Walker's got seven points in the game. Oh, a fantastic passer at his position. Gordon stays alert and ready to pass to an open teammate. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? A three ball. And the last hey. second attempt doesn't fall. And how about marking and just locking in on his man defensively? Uh, uh, that seven-foot frame with his lateral movement, it can be intimidating. He's got to continue to work on that end to get better. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We've got more in store for you right after this. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a... Grizzlies with some changes. Fox comes in for McDaniels. And Griffin subbed in for Whitehead. So on the floor for Memphis. Lowry Markinen is out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Fox. Then it's Morant. And it's Griffin in at the shooting guard to the inside. Oh, another block. And swatting shots away with ferocity. GA, he is not messing around in this one. Well, we know, Richard, you've made your stance on shortening the NBA season very clear. Are you still opposed to the idea? I am so opposed to it. When you think about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, you think about the travel that these guys had to do, and they still played 82 games. They weren't sitting in first-class seats. And now, fast forward 40, 50 years, players can't do that, or they want to shorten the game. I'm sorry. Stick with the history. Morant dishes to Markkinen. Back to Morant for three. Hands it from downtown. Morant's got seven points here in this quarter. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He's so strong when he goes to work on the glass. One opening is all he'll need to finish the play, even if it's just a tip-in. Pass to Stewart. And here is Markkinen. Morant right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Fox kicks to Morant. Here's Stewart. Offline with his three. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. For three, Murray. And it's Fox with the rebound. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Now a timeout called by Memphis. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Williams has checked in. We have 
have certainly seen some great MVP races the last few years. Richard, are you satisfied with how the MVP is chosen? Yeah, Kev, I was happy with it. At the end of the day, there's always going to be at least two or three other guys that have a legitimate MVP case. So, you know, this year might have been a close one, but next year it might go to the next guy. The Grizzlies have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final Who's period. Great shooting down the stretch. Fox a screen on Murray. Murray against Morant. There's the draw, and finished off by Morant. I don't know, but it seems like Morant's got springs or something in his shoes. And Portland has possession. The pass to Simons. Murray outside. Here's the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Back to Morant. From deep, it's not going to go for him. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Down low, here's O'Connor. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Lowry Markinen. Well, players certainly have become comfortable. Richard asking for trades as it become too commonplace. Uh, it doesn't happen too much in general. I just think a lot of times it's the stars, and so it becomes a lot bigger. So if we're going to say players, make sure we point out the stars. But loyalty is a two-way street. I remember Blake Griffin signing a five-year contract with the Clippers, and the next thing you know, he was traded. Kicks it to Murray. That one rolling around and rims out. There has been nothing for him this quarter. Ever since halftime, he's lost all of his touch. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He, he's got to get to the line a little bit more here in the second half. Let's see if he can get that edge back that he had in the first. And the first one at the line is good. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA? Greg, that seven-year deal just signed. Oh, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both need to be commended. Labor peace through the rest of the decade. Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Whitehead's checked in for three. Murray. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Here's Fox. And it's Fox with the jam. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense he's locked in with his teammates right now setting guys up in perfect position and that one misses and the trailblazers shooting 40 percent in the fourth inside here's simons and it's fox with the rebound memphis has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth pass to whitehead Now Williams. Pass to McDaniels. Let's it go from deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go into the next. Got to at least show a little heart out here. Murray against Morant. Here's Murray up on top. Shoots over Morant. Portland no good that time either. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. McDaniels passes to Whitehead to the right side. Here's Morant. Fox finds Morant. Here's McDaniels. Off target with his three. 
Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Memphis. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jay. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. Fox dishes to Williams. Back to Fox. Morant left side. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. And Greg on top of the regular season tally in the win column. They earn their... First win out of four in-season tournament group games. Giving their fans just one more reason to get excited here early on this season. Congrats. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan.